King's Coat was built originally in 1839. The early Gothic Revival style resulted in many gables and chimneys and elaborate Gothic detailing. It is built of wood, although it was originally painted beige with sand mixed into the paint, giving it a textured appearance of sandstone. George Noble Jones owned the two cotton plantations in Florida. He constructed this house, King's Coat, along a farm path known as Bellevue Avenue. It was designed by Richard Upjohn and is an early example of Gothic Revival style. The Jones family permanently left Newport at the outbreak of the American Civil War and the house sold to William Henry King in 1864, an old China trade merchant. King's nephew David leased the house in 1876 and embarked on a series of alterations. He hired Newport architect George Champlain Mason to build a larger dining room and to build a new service wing. So they came here and they just picked up this whole kitchen pantry area that was sitting here and they moved it 30 feet over to the north, to the right behind that door, where it still is, where the wall, where it still is. And they inserted this dining room right into the center of the house. Well, that's the house. This, uh, uh, this room here is a summer bedroom, which they only use in the summertime because it was not heated. Well, this is an old mirror which uh, predates electricity. So you can see on the sides there's uh, two uh, candle holders. So they're lit so the ladies can see themselves in the mirror when it's nighttime. In 1880, David King hired a design company to add new additions to the house, including new master bedrooms, a nursery, and a new dining room with opulent glass bricks purchased from Louis Comfort Tiffany. These alterations greatly enlarged upon Upjohn's original design, yet retained the fundamental Gothic revival character of the building. This is a winter bedroom. Would be heated. The King family owned the house until 1972 when the last descendant bequeathed it to the Preservation Society.